So Rob, tell me about your vintage Blanc de Noir from Raffini. We are so excited about this, Matt. So we launched this a month ago and uh, it, people are going wild for it, which is, is great. This has been three years in the making and really this is the wine that Mark Driver always wanted to make. So he loves that rich, expressive, fruity style of sparkling, almost like the Bollinger style. Um, and he really wanted to replicate that, but with an English slant. And we feel we've nailed it. Um, so you can see immediately, it's got a little bit of a blush. So this is from the, the Pinot Noir and Pinot Meunier, which have given it almost between a rosé and a, a, a sort of light wine, um, a little bit of a blush. And I'm glad that's, that's kept in. So on the nose, you know, th this is 65% Pinot Noir. So that really comes through for me. So it's all about that strawberries and cream again. Um, really creamy, really rich, really opulent. Um, and let's dive right in. So this is aged for three years. So this is the long game. And you can see when you see our, our kind of storage area, they're all lying there on their sides for, for the three years, which is a long time. Um, so for me, the Pinot Meunier plays a hugely important role in this. So Pinot Meunier, we put in about 35%, which is quite high for a blend, uh, for a Pinot, uh, Pinot based blend. Um, and we do that because it brings in this perfumed character, really perfume, you get plums, you get cherries again, strawberries, but unlike the rosé, which is wild strawberries, so it's got more of that tart strawberries. This is the more, the, you know, almost like a strawberry you would, you would, you know, find in a strawberry farm. So just biting into it and really expressive, lovely, unctuous flavour. I don't know what you think about it. It is beautifully rich. I mean, I could almost imagine you pairing that with a with a kind of meat dish or something yes. like gamey. It would really work. You're absolutely right. And we are trying to lead the charge on that because a lot of people think sparkling wine champagne, I will have it before the main event and then we'll have the real wines. But actually, this is made from the same grapes as they, they make a burgundy from. And they pair that with lamb, with pork, with duck. Exactly. Why can't you do the same? And this has got that lovely acidity to slice through the meat. And this was launched in the Ritz um, as their sparkling wine of the month back in May. Only the second time they've ever done it with an English sparkling wine after you know 113 years of history. So we're really proud of it. Um, but yet it's got a classic element, but it's very innovative as well. For me, we are, and I would say this, but we are kind of you know, we're, we're quite a cutting edge um, sparkling wine house. Um, everything from our label, which is, has got the Seven Sisters on it, you yeah. can see here, um, through to the style of our wine, which has got an element of champagne, but an element of English. All the fruits for me are very English.